Okay, in this video, we're going to do an unboxing of a projector lamp, a brand new projector lamp. Now, I have an Acer PH530 DLP HD projector in my attic. It projects on an 8-foot screen, and I watch movies up there, and sometimes I watch TV shows up there as well. The lamp, I think, has a 2,000-hour lifespan, and I've had it for about four years, four and a half years now, and it, uh, the lamp was kind of going on me. So I was watching something up there uh, the other day, and the lamp went out on me twice. It hasn't gone out totally yet. I can still fire it up again, but if it's going to be interrupting what I'm watching up there, I definitely can't have that. So I have to replace it. It is getting towards that 2,000 hour mark anyway. So I went online and I found a place that sells replacement bulbs, and here it is in this box here. So why don't we get to it? I'm going to unbox this here, and uh, let's see what's in here. Now obviously what's in here is the bulb, but let's see what else is in here. Okay. Packaged with some paper here. And here we go, projector lamp. There's a genuine sticker on it. And some polar bears on there. Interesting. Let me put this to the side. And just got a uh, packing slip here. This thing cost me about $150. So it's a little bit cheaper than, actually a lot bit cheaper than buying a brand new projector, which is what I was gonna do initially because the projector that I have up there right now is only a 720p HD projector. But at this time I couldn't see uh, spending the money on a $1,600 1080p projector. Although I wouldn't mind having one, uh, at this point in time I just don't have the spare funds to purchase one. So hopefully within the next year or so that would change and uh, I can actually buy a uh, 1080p, maybe 3D capable 1080p uh, projector up there. But as of right now, this is the best cost effective way to get my projector up and running again. So here we go. It uh, says projector lamp on here. It says genuine here. Made in China. Like I said, it's got the polar bears on there. It says we love bear spelled differently. It's B-A-R-E. <laughs> so it's not spelled correctly. We need pole. We protect earth. We collect used lamp parts. So hopefully this works. It says on the website, seems pretty reputable, so hopefully uh, I don't have any problems with this. So let's open this thing up. And let's see what this thing looks like. Slide this out gently here. Some styrofoam here. I don't want to be. I don't want to break this or anything like that. I don't know how fragile it is, but uh, here we go. That is the lamp there. You can see the lamp there and uh, the rear end of it where it plugs in here. And that's what it looks like. So, and on the bottom. It's got some information made in China, all that good stuff. Okay, in this video, I'm actually going to replace the projector lamp in my Acer PH530 DLP 720p HD projector. And before I get into that, I just want to give you a quick tour of this device because I never did an unboxing on this because I bought this probably about four and a half years ago. And it's been a good projector. It is 720p. But um, as I said in my previous video, I would like to upgrade to a newer projector, a 1080p, possibly 3D projector. But at this time, I can't really justify the expenditure. So for the time being, I'm just going to replace the lamp and use this because it works out pretty well for me. And uh, then we'll go from there. But let me just give you a quick tour around here. On top of the device, you have a zoom button. Now, I do project this onto an 8-foot screen, so this helps out in calibrating, getting it just to the right size on the screen there. 
Also on top of the device here, you have your control buttons here. The projector does come with a remote control, so I rarely use this other than just to power it up. Sometimes I use the source key over here to change between HDMI and the other sources that I have feeding into the projector here. But you have a resync button here, you have some directional keys here, you have a menu key, and you have some lights here. And actually this lamp here, this lamp light, is the one that has been coming on lately because the lamp is at the end of its useful life, basically. At the, on the front of the projector here, you have your Acer branding here, and you have a vent, so it blows out a lot of the hot air from here to cool down the lamp. Uh, I have a lens, ca lens cap here, and uh, there I have the lens where I can actually adjust it, again, to make sure that the screen is in focus and properly calibrated when you actually put this into place. You also have a button down here which you press it and this little foot can come down so if you need to raise it a little bit off of the table that you have it on you could do that as well. You can also mount this from the ceiling if you want. I have it sitting on a uh, cabinet. On the right side of the device here you have more venting so it blows out a lot of the hot air here. On the left side of the device Again, more venting, but you have your power cord here. I would actually prefer if the power cord was on the back, but it's not a big deal. On the back of the device, again, you have more venting because this does run very hot, so you definitely want to make sure that you're getting a lot of, of air to that lamp and cooling it down. Now you have a Kensington lock on here. I've never used a Kensington lock, but if you were in a public environment where you didn't want this stolen, uh, you can lock it down that way. Again, more venting. You have a USB port here, an S video port here, a video port here, and then your component ports, a VGA in and an HDMI in. This projector does not have speakers, which is a good thing because I have a 7.1 Dolby Digital surround sound hooked up in my attic, so that does a job up there. Now on the bottom of the device, you have your rubber feet here, which can be adjusted. You can pull it out if you want, push it back in. Um, you also have this front foot here, which can be adjusted with this button here. And you have a couple more areas of venting here. Now this is the area that we want to concern ourselves with in this video. This is where you access the projector lamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of styrofoam here and I'm going to put it on my table here so I don't do any scratching to my device or my table. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull these two screws out. Now it's the first time I've ever done this to this projector. And uh, so I think it's going to be pretty easy. When I looked at the lamp it looks like it just plugs in. So this is a Phillips head screw here. There are actually two of them here. And I'm going to pull them out and hopefully this pops right off. There we go. Okay, it looks pretty simple. This is the area here where the bulb is and it has a little handle here. So I'm gonna pull this up and there is one screw, actually there's a couple of screws in here and uh, let me pull those out because there are arrows on them and it does look like it holds this down so let's pull this out okay now the screws don't come out themselves so probably it just loosened everything up in there and let's pull this thing out and see what happens here Okay, there we go. Lamp out. And uh, as you can see here, it's interesting, the lamp isn't even uh, covered. I didn't want to touch the lamp on the, on the replacement one, but none of this is covered here, so that's, that's, uh, that's interesting there. Let's put this to the side. And I just want to be careful not to get any dust in there. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Now here is my replacement bulb right here and this is the old bulb right here. So it looks pretty simple just put it in the way the other one was put in. Now there's a groove here on the casing here. It seems like it's an aluminum casing and it fits into a groove right here. So I just want to guide it through there and 
and slide this in. Now hopefully this goes in without a hitch. Now these two plugs here have to plug into here, so Okay, I think I got it. Seat it in, push it down, and then I'm going to tighten these screws on here. They're new screws because they come on this uh, piece here with the new bulb, the casing here, and I don't want to tighten this too tight. Just like when I build a computer, just make sure that it's snug, that it's not going anywhere, but there's no need to over tighten this down because it's not like it's bearing weight or anything like that. Okay, now I'm just going to put this piece back on and tighten these screws down. And I should be back in business. Now I will expect this to be a little bit brighter because as it's brand new a projector will project brighter light and as time goes on it just gets more dim and more dim. So this piece here I have to recycle responsibly and supposedly I can send it back so uh, where I bought the, the, the new one from so we'll see if I can do that. I'll be contacting that company because it has some, uh, I don't know what it has in there but it probably has some poisonous uh, materials, poisonous chemicals in there that you don't want in the water table. So I'm going to replace this back upstairs and the next time you're probably going to see anything from this projector here is when I do the Google TV versus Roku XDS set-top box comparison because I actually have the Google TV attached to this device here. So stay tuned for that video upcoming. I know I've been promising that for a while but I've been really busy lately so uh, stay tuned for that. So that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.